Hey guys, this is just a quick little warning. Uh, quick warning before the video. It does jump around a lot. I didn't really do too many intros or outros uh, on the different days, so it's just kind of jumping from day to day. But it's still a lot of stuff we found, and I hope you enjoy, even though it's a little bouncy. This is what I mean when I say there's a lot of green tree frogs here in Hilton Head. There's a green there. Whoa, what kind of tree frog is that? One green tree frog, two green tree frog. Horseshoe crab, but it's dead, so, oh well. First one of these of the trip in hand. A little Bahama Anole, or Anole. Just gonna let him go. All right, at long last, we got our first snake of the trip. Not sure what kind of garter it is. I'm really pretty sure it's an Eastern garter because there's no checkered garters here out this far east because we're right on the coast of South Carolina. But really cool nonetheless. Um, not a snake I've ever seen before on this island. I've only ever seen black racers. And um, my sister saw a scarlet snake the other day. Uh, so we're gonna try to get that at some point this week. But awesome first snake of the trip. It was just darting along this bike path here. Uh, I kind of had to completely stop to grab him. Pretty sick. All right guys, here's one last look at this Eastern garter snake uh, before I let him go. Um, again, I don't know if it's an Eastern or not, but I will put it in the, uh, little description. Really awesome to get the first snake of the trip, even though it's over halfway done, so, cool. Alright guys, here's a little green anole. Um, I'm not able to catch him, but it's okay. I don't know where he went, hold on. I don't know where he went, but a little green anole on the side of the house here. My target species for the trip has died, sadly. It's not so the one, one that of us I saw probably them. ran over it. Yeah. It's not That's the one sad. That's fresh, too. Feel that. Oh, I'm not feeling it. It's fresh. The no. Dang it, Scarlet Snake. All right, Caleb and I are out here looking for Scarlet Snakes. We've been out here looking for Scarlet Snakes every other time. And we found dead ones. My sister's seen one. The dog has found a couple. I feel like everybody's seen one except me. So we are gonna just dig around in this pine, I don't know what you call it, pine straw, and see if we can find one finally because we're running out of time. We're about to go look for some uh, some water snakes, caught mouths, and any that? really any snakes. But Kelb oh, just nabbed this little uh, green anole. Uh, you can't see his face because Kelb's thumb, thumb is blocking it. All right, so I just nabbed this little turtle. Um, not too familiar with the species in the southeast still, so. I'm not really sure what kind of species this is right now, um, but I will look it up and I'll put it on identification so I can finally figure it out. But he has a really pretty painted face. Look at that. That's really cool. And go. All right, we're just gonna put this guy back in the water. There he goes. All right, so my man Adrian just flipped. Well, this little five line skink. Um, he's under the pine straw right now. Here he is. Um, this is just a juvenile. They lose that blue tail when they uh, get older, but I don't know where he just went, but yeah, five months game. All right, no snakes yet, but we got a spider. Oh, oh, whoa, what's that? Oh my gosh, another gigantic. That one probably is about 12 feet alligator, and... Um, yeah, we're really far from it. This is fully zoomed in. I'm not getting any closer than this. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm kind of a legend. Uh, we were just complaining. We've been out here searching for scarlets for what? Like, we've been out yeah, here for, for... I mean, uh, yeah, we've been out here for two hours. We saw some gators. We saw some frogs. We saw nothing special. 
And at last, I have gotten my beautiful Scarlet Snake. This is the goal species that I wanted while coming to Hilton Head Island. This is what I've been looking for. There's a dead one in the grass over there. It's been sitting there, but we've been out here every night trying to find one of these guys for like at least an hour every night, been searching for one of these. And during the day too, my sister said she saw some. I mean, this is just, this is my goal species, guys. So right now it's like 11 p.m. We've been out here since 9.30ish. And I am just at a loss of words right now for how beautiful this snake is. Oh my goodness. Caleb's here. Caleb and I have just been searching. We I, I we were gonna look for geckos. Last minute flip right here. It was right curled. I saw him curled up like here. This is like kind of how he was in C2, just like that. I'm gonna just get some footage for you guys because uh man, what an awesome snake. Um, so yeah, this is really an incredible snake. Um, I have been searching for one of these for hours every night now. Um, I'm just going to teach you guys a little bit about them just because I'm so excited to have finally caught one. So these will actually eat, uh, the eggs of, um, these will actually eat the eggs of mainly lizards, but also other snake eggs. Um, they will actually eat lizards themselves sometimes if they're small enough. As you can see, it's not a very big snake. Maybe, like, six inches, maybe a little bit more. It's more. More than six inches. Nine, ten. Nine, ten inches. It's not a big snake. Um, so they eat small lizard eggs. And sometimes, even just like king snakes, they will eat other snakes. So you'll see these guys a lot of time eating uh, brown snakes. Um, I don't even know what else they eat because I'm not familiar with the area. But um, you can really tell with the difference between scarlet king snakes and this snake. Because uh, this snake, you kind of can see he has a shovel nose. The scarlet king snakes have that classic lampropeltis face. This guy's got a shovel nose, and he's also got some orange banding right behind his uh, head here. And uh, I, I'm just so excited, guys. I'm going to just take a few minutes to just observe it. I'm going to cut the camera just because it's such an incredible snake. But, yeah, I love Hilton Head. All right, guys, so we've been uh, we've been photographing the snake for about at least 20 minutes now. And, uh, well, I'm just going to give you one last look at it. All right. I guess that's bye-bye to the Scarlet Snake. I will miss you, but I hope I will see you again. There he goes. Okay, guys. So I've been, I just found something that uh, I've been looking for for a long time in Oklahoma. And I finally found here. This is a spadefoot toad. Um, I'm not exactly sure what kind of spadefoot toad it is. But, um, I'm, again, I'm not familiar with this locality of animals. But... It is a spadefoot toad of some sorts, and camera does not like focusing, but that is really sick. This is one of the ones, the one of the amphibians, actually the amphibian that I was most excited about looking for and finding when I came to the island. But it's the last night here. We're just trying to get some tree frogs to end the trip, but that is epic. I think this is probably, I don't know, maybe we're in Eastern. Anyway, guys, um, we're going to let this little guy go here in a second. Um... That is just really cool to be able to see a spadefoot toad right before I'm about to leave. Look at him. It's like a living rock. Right, well, we're going to go now, but bye-bye uh, little spadefoot. Again, I'll put the uh, species name in the title, but bye. Okay, so here's a tree frog. Not the one we're looking for. I've got no idea what kind it is. Maybe a pine woods. Very pretty one, whatever it is. Um, awesome to see, but not what we're looking for. So I'm just going to... Take him. Ooh, he's peeing. He's got the orange legs, though. Put him right on this tree. Maybe if he'll go. He's super slimy. Hey, guys. This is just one last message. Um, I just wanted to let you know that the reason this took so long to upload is because we were having trouble uploading the last video, which was the Oklahoma herping video, and that just took forever for some reason. So we just decided to wait a couple days to post this one. I'm sorry it's been so long, but thanks for watching.